Yeah. I think it is coming on. I will lift it up and show it to you. This is dark. You can see. Then I started the green and the red, and then I will start with a little blue. This is blue green color, and I think I may even put some more green into it because of this too strong a color. So don't be afraid. If you think you have put the wrong color, uh, the too strong uh, color on, just just change it. Spray water on and put another color on. Because now I'm getting instead of blue, I am not getting a sort of turquoise, fitting perfectly to the green there and the and the red. Oh, that was on. I think that did good. That was nice. That's the thing on too with seed paint. You, you think always when you work, uh, do this painting, you, when you're finished, you think you have done a super project because uh, coloring lays uh, in only one color is boring when you see this uh, you see this part finished. Here's a little more blue on the sharp blue. Um, there you can see. I will spray some water on and I will do some more green. Turquoise part, in fact, more turquoise. Fitting perfectly. Do the red at the top. Put some more water on and the red. And the water. Lots of water. some green into the red. There. And A lot of red now because I will fill in with green afterwards. There, it will soon be finished. And to make the color blend, I spray on what you may think it, this seems very, very damp the whole thing, but you can use the hair dryer afterwards and it will dry because I think you don't, it may, may not be removed because under the lace you have a lot of color all to the plastic and when you use the hair dryer it will stay on to the lace. If you lift it up and hang it to dry it will zip off more, and I think it is the best thing to use the hair dryer. I think this one is finished. Yeah, you can go on, it will take some time to get it completely dry, but 
that's the way to do it. The lace is now dried. And as you can see, we have a very artistic piece of, of lace. And it can be used to decorate different colors and combine a different sorts of fabric, different colors, because they are blended uh, several colors. You see, the green is in fact adopted yellow and turquoise, red, pink, even up to some parts with even light brown. So, I think it looks quite beautiful. This tiny lace ribbons is very nice to to color this way, to use for decoration on other projects. The only thing left to do now is to iron the lace, because, like I told you at the beginning, these colors are fixed into the fibers uh, by ironing. I use a cotton, a set the iron on cotton, the heat for cotton, and I start ironing. I put, uh, I put uh, some paper towel on my uh, table because I uh, sometimes, before it is ironed, it, some, a tiny, tiny bit of, bit of color may loosen during the ironing, ironing and, and uh, then you will get it on the paper instead of on the table, you know. And sometimes you can even, if you want to protect your iron, you can even put a paper towel on top. So you not have to clean the iron afterwards. Because it, 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 but it usually, it doesn't usually use any color onto the iron. I never have any problem with that. In fact, you can see there it was not completely dry. So this is simply water, excess water and color. So that, that's because it is a good idea to put a paper towel to protect your table, like I told you. Then I iron it for, I think I about three minutes I will go on ironing. And then there is no trouble, you can wash this, this um, piece of lace just as much as you want, want. Many, many times it will never loosen from the fibers. It's, it, it is in fact permanent. Then, I think that is enough for now. And, there, the lace is completely finished.